Anita Airport Accident Update 2. Hello aviation enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a gripping and informative episode delving into recent events in Japan Tokyo Haneda Airport and exploring critical factors that impact aviation safety. We take you take you to Japan where a tragic air crash claimed the lives of five people. A NOTAM notice to airmen revealed that crucial warning lights known as stop bars were unserviceable at the time of the incident. Let's break down the details. Air traffic control transcripts revealed that a Coast Guard plane was directed to wait at a holding point beside the runway just moments before colliding with a Japan Airlines JL flight preparing to land at Tokyo's Haneda Airport. The red warning lights or stop bars were reported as unserviceable for the holding point and several others on the runway during this critical period as highlighted in a notice to airmen NOTAM. Function of stop bars. Stop bars are a vital safety feature at airports, preventing unauthorized entry onto active runways, runway incursion. Pilots are trained to halt and refrain from progressing past these lights unless given explicit instructions by air traffic control. These lights act as a visual cue, enhancing communication between air traffic controllers and pilots. Even if clearance is granted, pilots are trained to decline if the stop bar lights remain illuminated, ensuring an additional layer of safety. Guidelines from the International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO stress the importance of never crossing the stop bar lights when illuminated. Air traffic controllers are advised to avoid instructing a pilot or vehicle driver to cross an active stop bar unless contingency measures are in place. Follow me vehicles. In situations where stop bars are unserviceable, airports are encouraged to deploy follow me vehicles as an alternative. These vehicles guide aircraft on the ground, ensuring safe navigation, especially when standard visual cues are compromised. Safety measures. While the absence of operational stop bars may not have directly caused the crash, their proper functioning is considered a critical safety measure. The presence of functioning stop bars is seen as a key factor in preventing runway incursions and collisions. Pilot error. Now let's shift our focus to the critical factors that can contribute to pilot error, fatigue and lack of English proficiency. Fatigue. Fatigue, often stemming from long duty hours, irregular schedules or inadequate rest, can impair cognitive functions including attention, decision making and reaction time. Tired pilots may experience lapses in attention and alertness, increasing the risk of human error. The increased cognitive workload from fatigue can lead to misjudgments, memory lapses, and reduced ability to process information accurately, posing significant challenges in the cockpit. Lack of English proficiency. Now, let's discuss the impact of a lack of English proficiency. Clear communication is crucial in aviation, and a breakdown due to language barriers can lead to misunderstandings and misinterpretations of instructions. Inability to understand or express instructions accurately may result in pilots misinterpreting air traffic control directives, causing errors in navigation, altitude management, or runway procedures. Pilots struggling with English may experience an increased cognitive workload diverting attention from flying the aircraft safely. ADS-B, moving on to a technology that enhances aviation safety, Automatic Dependence Surveillance Broadcast or ADS-B. ADS-B functionality. ADS-B allows aircraft to broadcast their own GPS-derived position, altitude, speed and other information at regular intervals. This real-time tracking capability enhances surveillance, contributing to better air traffic management and overall safety. It's not limited to aircraft, ADS-B can also track ground vehicles, providing comprehensive awareness and improving ground movement safety at aerodromes. Integration with other technologies, multilateration system. ADS-B can be seamlessly integrated with other surveillance systems, such as radar providing a comprehensive and redundant network for air traffic management. This technology enables reduced separation between aircraft, leading to increased airport capacity and more efficient airspace utilization. Enhanced safety. 
ADS-B enhances safety through collision avoidance and improved situational awareness for both pilots and air traffic controllers. Equipped aircraft receive information about nearby traffic, aiding in avoiding collisions, especially during ground movements. On this particular occasion, it appears that government aircraft, including those operated by the Coast Guard, were not required to adhere to mandatory equipment standards like ADS-B, as they are typically exempted from such requirements. For civilian commercial operations, it is mandatory for aircrew to attain a minimum of ICAO Level 4 English language proficiency. However, government fleet crews are typically exempt from this requirement in the majority of countries. The English language proficiency status of the Coast Guard-8 crew is currently unclear. The Coast Guard crew was engaged in challenging missions involving short flights to deliver relief supplies to an area affected by an earthquake. It remains unknown how many such flights the crew had completed during the day or whether they were granted adequate breaks between missions. Based on the transcripts with air traffic control, it appears that the crew was acquainted with the layout of the airfield. However, information on the cockpit tapes, if accessible, could provide investigators with valuable insights into the crew's exchanges and actions in the cockpit leading up to the tragic runway incursion. In conclusion, understanding the critical factors contributing to incidents like the one in Japan is essential for enhancing aviation safety. Technologies like ADS-B play a pivotal role, offering real-time tracking and improved awareness. As aviation enthusiasts, it's crucial for us to stay informed and advocate for advancements that contribute to a safer and more efficient aviation industry. Thank you for joining us on this insightful journey. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Safe skies, everyone!